What is the meaning of a dream? Only Asha knows. Are they omens warning us of future tragedies? Distant memories dying in the deafening silence of the void? Or are they sometimes both? The death wish of some ancestor bargaining with the dragons that his legacy be carried on. Last night I dreamed such a clear vision of past events. Terrible things I had wanted to forget. They refused to fade away, demanding, pleading to be told one last time. This story begins with what we now call Uriel's Deception. During the fabled Elder Wars, wars that once pitched the Children of the Light against the Children of Darkness. Uriel, the great Archangel, had vowed to avenge his family. Slaughtered by the greatest warrior and tactician of the Faceless, Erebos, the master of assassins. For centuries, Uriel, consumed by hatred, planned his revenge. Shortly before the Second Eclipse, Uriel and his Inquisitors provided proof that the Faceless were plotting to rekindle the fires of the ancient wars. Emperor Liam Falcon, an ambitious man, easily enthralled by the Archangel's righteous determination, declared a holy war against the Children of Darkness. And Uriel's own brother, the Archangel Michael, esteemed and feared general of the ancient Angel Host, was brought back from the dead to lead the onslaught. But Uriel's plan had one fatal flaw. He underestimated the courage and resourcefulness of the humans he had set out to use in his machinations. There were some who saw through his lies, seeing Uriel's proof as clever fabrications. The murders and sabotages of which the Faceless had been accused were his own doing. Angels cannot lie, or so the saying goes. But there's nothing written saying that they have to tell the truth. Uriel escaped the justice of the courts, but not the judgment of the dragons. Uriel, Michael, and the Emperor Liam perished in the bloody fires of the Second Eclipse. But a legacy remained, continuing to poison the Empire. When the true extent of Uriel's deception was revealed, the scandal nearly ripped the once great and holy nation apart. Distrust grew between the Empire and its allies. Dissentful whispers could be heard throughout the hallways of the Imperial Court. And outside of the Empire's borders, the colonies and protectorates were clamouring for independence. In an effort to calm the troubled waters, Liam's heiress, the young Empress Gwendolyn Falcon, proclaimed a series of reforms that were immediately unpopular with the more conservative nobles. These tensions came to a head in the Ajin Peninsula. Once a jewel of the Falcon Crown, the great port of Carthal on the Savage Sea was threatening to secede and join the loose coalition of the free cities. Skirmishes were multiplying between the rebels and imperial garrisons. Brigands were stalking the trade routes and pirates were raiding the coasts. This is a story of a particular group of adventurers who had just set foot on the peninsula for the first time on a quest to fulfill the dying wish of their mentor. They were called raiders, but would soon be known as legends. Do not let the name Raiders fool you. They were not mere brigands or adventurers only interested in glory and gold. They believed in a higher calling, an ideal of honor and courage. These values were the legacy of their mentor, Owen, a raider himself, and a veteran of the Battle of Hammer Fall. In a way, it was also their mentor who had led them to the Ajin Peninsula. He had been a son of Carthal, and before his tragic death, he had asked his students to bring back his ashes to the city of his birth, to be buried next to his ancestors. To honor their master's wish, they boarded the first ship willing to take them to the west. As they disembarked in the small, peaceful harbor of Sorpical by the sea, they could not suspect how far 
this journey was going to take them. Ah, new faces. Very good. I suppose you arrived with the morning tide, with that boat from the east. Welcome to Sopagal by the Sea. You're raiders, are you not? Adventurers? Oh, I guess the news of the current situation hasn't reached the rest of the world yet. Nobody is going in or out of Carthal, my friends. I know from a well-informed source that rebels have taken over the city. They have sealed its gates and closed the harbor while they establish a new government. Irulan is not too far from here. Too bad we don't have time for a trip there. Welcome aboard! is so dull. Don't we have better things to do? to be spiders. to help.
Welcome aboard! Orcs no slaves. We'll help, but not for free. Got to take a bath. I feel stronger. Oh. I stay down. We're here to help. Orcs no slaves. We'll help, but not for free.
I hope it's not waste of time. Farewell! Welcome aboard! We're here to help!